They said that the older you get, the wiser you get. And recently, CNN sat down with several women over the age of 60 to ask what advice they would give their younger selves. And they gave some amazing advice, you guys. Things like never give up and give the nice guy a chance. I love that one personally. Mm. And to further continue the conversation, they then asked readers what the best advice they ever got from someone older was. Ladies, I'm curious, what would you say are some of the wise words you've learned from someone older? Um, I remember growing up in the projects and I was getting ready to uh, go off to California. And one of the senior citizens looked at me and she said, you going to California? She said, don't get caught up out there. And I didn't know what she meant, because I was like 18. I was like, what? <laughs> and she just said, don't get caught up. And I'll never forget the look on her face. And she was like, don't get caught up out there. And I didn't understand what she meant till about 20 years later when I was at a club and I saw this Coke around me. And I was like, now mm. I know what she meant if I don't get caught up mm, out there. Wow. And that's when it hit me. That's and that was the best thing. So I always remember when she, you know, whenever I'm in a certain situation, it's like, don't get caught up. That's really great advice. I think for me, when I left home at the age of 17 and living in New York, um, my great aunt said to me, if you ever go out and you put down your drink to go dancing, to go to the bathroom, to go talk to somebody, don't ever pick it back up. And let me tell you, to this day, I am very, very careful of where I put mm -hmm. my drinks down and where I come It'll back save to. Save your life. Because you know what? A lot of things could have happened. Totally. A lot of things could have happened. And that was really great advice, and I hold that forever. You don't want to peel Cosby, I'll tell you that. Oh. That ain't it. Oh. Let me tell you, I had, I had two things. One, and both of them are from my mother, funny enough. <laughs> One is, yo, always look for the exit. My mom would tell me this every time when I would go out to clubs with my best friend at the time. Like, we literally would go out to clubs and she would always tell me, first thing you do, Adrian, look for the exit. That and the other thing she told me was, similar to what Lonnie said, was always remember who you are. Like, when I would leave my house, literally to go on tour, to go on trips, my mom would look at me and go, Adrian, you remember who you are. And this is so random, but you remember when airplanes used to give you headphones and you could plug in and listen to the radio stations? Yeah. You know, I have a fear of flying, so I would listen. And one time on the country station, there was this song, and the lyric was, I am Rosemary's granddaughter, the spitting image of my father, and when the day is done, my, mother, my mama's still my biggest fan. It's a song. You know, do you know this song, Jeannie? You like country music. It was a country song. And in that moment, I realized what my mother meant by remember who you are. Like, no matter what happens in this life, yeah. you are whoever's daughter. I am this person. This is where I come from. And to stay rooted and grounded in that. So I've always remembered that. Even when I go into auditions or meetings, don't let anyone project on you who you are. You know who you are. Mm. That's, that. that's from the Lion King, too. They, the lion, the daddy said... Simba, remember who you are. There you go. That was that really in line? Why? why words. Why, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Why, words for why words is she our friend? Of the what? I heard this once um, from my dad's mom. She's passed already, Banoy. But she once told me to choose the energy that surrounds you wisely, and mm. I was like. What does that mean? Like it's just too. It felt too deep and too much thought to put into that. But then she told me the ending later on when I turned 18. She said, choose the energy that surrounds you wisely. I said, Banoi, you already told me that. I don't know what that means. And she goes, because it will become you. And it Ooh. followed me. And when I turned 30, what she meant was mm. the people you hang out with, the conversations you have, even basic things like the Instagrams you scroll, every energy that you let into your aura, it I actually that. you listen you. to the TV you yeah. watch. Everything, yeah. the music, yeah. the way, the trends, things that other girls are doing, everything will become you unless, and you've got to fight so much harder to push it out. So as you get older, as you guys all know, because we some old bitches up in here, you start to be selective <laughs> about yourself. your energy and you can actually be more, for be more present and, and be more positive <laughs> in your life. So I'm thankful about that. So I'm yeah, allowing all three of you guys in my aura. Me too. And always have, one. always have clean underwear. My mother used to always that say that. part. Yes. <laughs> always. Or flip it All inside out if you're in a rush. I'm just kidding. No. Oh, don't oh my God. Because if you got to go to the hospital, we all know this. If you could find out how others really see you, would you want to know? A user on Quora recently asked, 
who people would choose to see how they really come off to others. And the answers range from grandparents, close friends, and even your worst enemies. So ladies, we all know that we think we come off, how we think we come off to others, but who would you want to see you in their eyes? Yeah. I was thinking about it. You know what? I think it would be a great thing. Like, if we could do that for, like, one day, everywhere you go, you could see yourselves. I think not only would you learn a lot, like, maybe I'm a little too harsh here, maybe I could be a little softer and rounder here, but I also think that we put so much pressure on ourselves and are so hard on ourselves, we might go, you know what? I'm not so bad. I'm yeah. not so bad. See maybe your eyes so who, someone who really who loves you. Who would you want you? to? Somebody, like, a um, parent? I think my kids. I think my kids. You know, because sometimes, you know, they That's don't really give a lot of compliments. Every now and then they might say, you know, that was really cool, Mom, but not very much now because they're 13. I would like to hear what they think. That's and awesome. I'd probably That's cry, sweet. too. <laughs> I'd like yeah. to Yeah, you know. Jeannie, who would, you wanna, who would you want to hear how they see you through their eyes? I know who I don't want, which is who? my mom, Mama Mai. She's just on this kick lately where she's just, I don't know if she's getting older or what it is, but she's on this kick lately where she's constantly telling me what to do all the time. And I know, because I usually reject what she wants me to do, that she looks at me like, it's like, it's, it's like a whole, like, Can this girl, she don't TV? even listen. Look at this girl. I thought I raised something good, but she, like, she's so... She's so angry with me all the time right now because I don't listen Why? to her, so I, I, I don't want to... Because she just asks me to do things that I'm like... But what's my changed my between the two of you? What's changed? Like, like for our wedding. She literally has a text message. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. A text message telling me who she wants at the wedding, and I'm like, it's not your wedding. Look how long no, this, but that's what this text do. is. About, like, do you see this? But that's like, for moms, too. No, Please. no, it's not okay. I think it's so weird. No, and she, but here's the thing too. She doesn't do this to my brothers. She doesn't ask them to do anything. Of she doesn't not. You're force the girl. them. She, You're the girl. But that's not you heard, fair. You heard, you heard, and, you it, heard, and it makes, girl. it gives me more, it gives her more reasons to say, I'm not making her happy because she's asking me to do things that I can't say yes to because then it would be saying no to me. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, so then, yeah. It, yeah. then it just makes me yeah. look like I'm not pleasing her. Instead, ask me to take care of the family, make sure that everybody's safe, make sure that I'm I'm keeping in touch with everybody and creating family events that even through COVID, we're still doing things together. Like things like that, got you, I'm A plus, but it's not that. It's like, make sure that you're gonna invite these people and are you coming to my friend's party over here and why can't we go here this year? And I'm like, it's COVID, we can't do those things. And so I'm constantly saying no. So I just know that if I, if I saw myself through her eyes, she's like, she would say everything I just I said think to she, you. I think she misses oh. you and I think that there is, it, it'll be okay. I think she, I agree she misses with you, you. That's Thank what mothers you. do when they miss you. And so. you're spreading your wings and that might scare her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. something a lot okay. deeper. So you keep talking to her because that's my girl.